Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rowan's Q&A. Currently, we are at Rowan's, we are at, um, episode 39. So, um, so, um, let's get started, shall we? Jamie Dormer asked, Do you think Thomas and Friends All Engines Go should be cancelled? Maybe. Alex Campbell asked, What's your favorite Wiggly Virals episode from Wiggles Well 2000? I'm honestly not sure. Joseph Ward asked, Would it be cool if Disney ever owned Pokemon? Maybe. Billy the Disney Guy 2008 asked, Why did you not want me tagging you in every TikTok purse I make? Because it floods my notification box. Have you seen the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? Yes. Do you have a Nintendo Switch? Yes. Opinion on plants versus zombies. I used to, um, I used to watch my older sister play it when she was a young, when she was a child. And I even used to watch her play it when I was a child. Master Creator 1998 asked, have you ever been visiting ABC Kids Australia Company before when you were little? I've never visited the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. Kyron YouTube Vids asked, What are your thoughts on that forgotten Lost Sunny Tubbies game series called Thomas the Slender Engine? It looks kind of cool, but it got deleted everywhere, and I didn't even get a chance to play it. What are your thoughts on season 1 to 5 of Fireman Sam? They're okay, but I mainly grew up with the 2003 series. I'm not sure what season it is. Maybe it was the fifth season, the 2003 series? Yeah, it probably was. He is cute asked, Would it be cool if there was a Five Nights at Freddy's game with Sunday Tubbies? Maybe. Magic Blue asked, Do you still like Thomas and Friends? Kinda. I plan on getting, probably getting the Seasons 8 to 10 DVDs since I grew up with that Thomas era. Or era. Thoughts on Ryan Julian nowadays? He and I don't seem to interact as much as we used to anymore. Mummy of Autism asked, What happened to Mrs. Potato Head in his toy Sunday story? Well, she was attacked by Buzz, and she, and she decayed in the now-abandoned Davis household, along with Molly's other toys, like the Barbie dolls and the troll dolls and even Andy's toys, too. Mr. Potato Head would have resurrected her to become a corrupted toy, but he didn't but he did not want to do something bad to his wife as he loved her, so he spared her and corrupted the other toys, being Woody, Jesse, Bullseye, Rex, um, um, Bullseye, Ham, Slinky, the Aliens, um, Bo Peep, and, um, Wheezy. So I hope that has explained a lot. HRR Productions asked, When did you first get into Sailor Moon? Well, one of my subscribers... Mina Aishi was a Sailor Moon fan herself, and I didn't really have an opinion on it when I first heard of it, but but sometime during late 2021, I found the anime to be interesting and quite intriguing, and over the next and, and over the next course of months, I accidentally fell in love with it. So yeah, that's how I got into Sailor Moon. What is your what are your thoughts on Captain Scarlet and the Mysterians? 
I don't really, I haven't got a much of an opinion on Captain Scarlet. However, my dad showed me a Captain Scarlet DVD, and he and I watched a few episodes of it, and I thought the show was kind of like the the original Thunderbirds marionette series in terms of puppet designs. Out of all the videos you have uploaded onto YouTube, which one is, was your, is your most favorite? I am not sure, honestly. There are so many I like. Sophie Hansel asked, Have you ever watched Elf with Will Ferrell? Yes, I have. Heck, I even watched the um, film back in grade 3 with my class, and it was quite interesting. And I even used to reenact the mailroom dance scene where Buddy was high on coffee, and... And he, and he even did this dance where he danced on the table. I probably can't demonstrate it right now, but but search up um elf mailroom dance and you'll see what I mean. Stacy Armstrong asked, "Do you remember the Teletubbies advent calendars videos?" Yes. That alt girl 13, no, that was just a statement and not a question. Um, what's the music talk, Ask. What do you think of me and my YT account? I don't even know you, and I've just met you around mid-2023 mid this year so far. Findy Groot asked, What do you think of the game Luigi's Mansion 3? Kind of good. What is your favorite Teletubby season? That's a pretty tough one, not gonna lie. Maybe... I'm not even sure, so I won't answer that. I apologize. Opinion on the new Willy Wonka movie. Haven't seen it. Do you play Rob Roblox? I once made an account on... Roblox when I was 13, and I played a lot of Roblox servers, mainly the Wiggles World and Teletubby Land, but I, but I sometimes play it nowadays just to um go back to some old memories when I was only a teen. Oh, and I heard that Roblox um also... And I heard that Roblox also, um, um, how do I word this, um, and I even heard, and I even heard that Roblox, um, baits, some um, pedophiles, yeah, I, yeah, we Australians say E instead of E eh in pedophile, so, um, yeah, we Aussies are quite weird with our pronunciations. So, yeah, I got that statement off the internet one time. Anyway, those are all the questions that I have answered for this episode. So, I'll see you guys in, um, in the last episode from this season. But don't worry, I won't cancel my Q&A series. I'll just reboot it in the new year. And I'll release the final episode of Season 3 on... On around Christmas Eve, so I can give myself some time to um spend time with family and friends. So see ya.